Have you ever seen uh, illustration work or vector work that has lines that go that taper? So they go from thick to thin, as you can see in this vid in this line. And have you wondered how can I do that myself in Affinity Designer? Like I've been using this program for a minute or for a little bit now, and I just want to know how can I create tapered lines like this in, in Affinity Designer? So it's actually pretty simple. All right. So first of all, let's just grab our pen tool. So hit P on your keyboard and then just start, make a point and make another point. All right. And then we'll, we'll pretend it's not, you know, it doesn't have any pressure. So as you can see, this line is, has a uniform width all the way through. And if you want to taper it off either from one end or both ends, well, it's pretty easy. So all you have to do is select your line and over here where you see on my left hand side, you see this toolbar and it's got multiple things on it. You're going to want to be on your stroke up here on the stroke section. So you hit your stroke section and if you can't see that, you probably have to go to views and then you're just going to have to look for, uh, I'm assuming, I don't know which one it is honestly, but you're just going to have to figure it out. <laughs> but anyways, um, <clears throat> you can go to stroke. And then you're going to go to your pressure right here. You see that? You're going to go to pressure. And then you're going to want to click that. And then uh, uh, are you gonna, you're going to see this grid, kind of this grid line right here, this square with a bunch of, you know, other, other lines through it. So it's pretty simple. <clears throat> uh, you see this this whole thing is like, as you can tell, it, could, it changes the width of your stroke. If, it's, if you're doing it, you know, all at once, if it's uniform, you know. If you're doing both ends at the same time so pretty much this right here is the beginning of the stroke and this right here is the ending of the stroke so you can pretty much just see it as it's mirroring your line right here so if you're gonna want to change one of let's say you want to change the you know you want to taper down you want to make the right end of your line thinner so we're gonna go ahead and do the right end of this line right here okay so what you're going to do is either to select it. If you move, try to move it like this, as you can see, there's two little dot. There's one dot in each square. If when it's when you can see that dot, that means it's gonna. They're both like connected. They're both locked together. And if you click on it again, as you can see, it removes that little dot, and now you can move it separately. Or if you don't want to double click it, if you can't, you know, seem to get it, all you can do is hold Alt. And then just click on that individual part and it'll move on its own so now all i have to do is just bring it down and as you can tell my line is tapering from thick to thin let's make this a little bit thicker so we'll do 15 and as you can see it matches this guy right here so it goes from thick to thin and uh, and on this side right here on the little grid you can see it goes from high to low so pretty much thick to thin and remember, it goes from this side is the beginning of your line, and this side is the end of your line. And since we created our line from the left side to the right, it follows, uh, if you move the right side, it'll make your right side of the line move as well. But now let's say you created a line from starting from right to left instead of left to right. So as you can see, we created a line now from the right side instead of the left side. You're gonna be like, well, why doesn't it match my graph? You know, you're just saying, well, why is my line that I created from the right not matching my graph on the left, on the right hand side? You know, why is it doing that? Well, it's because, like I said, this top piece right here, this left top corner, is the beginning of your line, meaning the beginning of when you, of where you started your your uh, line. So since we started our line on the right hand side on, on this top line right here, this piece is this piece right here. And then on this bottom line, since we started on the left hand side, this corresponds exactly to your line. This top piece is this part. But we started on like again, I said like I said again, we started on the right hand for the top line, and so this is the start, and this is the start, and this is the end. So that's why it's flipped backwards if you start from the right and go to left. But if you want it to match perfectly on this side, you're going to start from left to right. Okay. So now 
and you uh, so now you want to you want to taper both ends and have the middle pretty thick that's pretty easy too so let's hit reset and then you're gonna want to click in the middle of these two lines on your grid and you can see you created a new little node and now if you click on the ends and you bring them both down at the same time you could tell your line let's look at the top line let's get rid of this guy you could tell you that your line has tapered on the ends and the middle has stayed the same thickness as it was before and that's getting this right here and so that's how you get effect this same effect on uh, like a circle right here is just taping down the middle and leaving that this piece thick and the ends thinner and this is how you get this kind of stroke pressure you know this is how you get this stroke to line this varied line and it's pretty cool because you could you could create varied lines to just make things <coughs> uh, look like they have you know endings or you can make like your drawings or vectors look like they have like uh, edges that like ridges I guess things that are aren't fully connected but are still connected to like part of a, a certain item an object <coughs> but yeah it's pretty cool so that's how you do that and then you can also save it profile so now let's say if you want to change this guy right here like this and then you can say that you create another you create another uh, line and you just want to move it a little bit so now okay so then we mess with it like this and you want to save this profile like this stroke stroke pressure you made for whatever reason you hit save profile and then now if you want to apply it to your top line and you hit that one you previously saved it'll give that same properties to your new line and this is how you could quickly give multiple lines the same stroke property just like that and you hold you select both of them and then collect your profile that you created and now you, all your selected lines will have the same stroke pressure on them and that's how you can create these tap tapered lines really easy really simple um so yeah if you i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful if you did uh go ahead and please leave a like leave a comment subscribe as well because it helps out the channel and uh, if you do leave a like i'm gonna give you a picture of this frog cute little frog right here okay so yeah, I hope you liked it and have a great day. I'll see you later and goodbye.